Mohamed Tahir Manguno. I represent Martin Mangunonga, the federal constituency. I am the chief whip of the house and also the chairman ad hoc committee on the petroleum industry bill. Uh, the PIB has suffered a checkered and protracted history of adjournments and non-passage since the sixth assembly. And this time around, the ninth national assembly is committed to the passage of the PIB before the end of April this year. And this commitment was born out of the need to maximize our potentials in the oil and gas industry, exploit our reserves, both crude and condensed, which is to the tune of about 27 billion barrels of crude and condensed that is lying fallow unexploited and also with a view to taking the only window of opportunity that we have which is about 30 years before the world moves away from hydrocarbons to renewables so that whatever resources that we are able to generate through that window we diversify our economy and then deflow it to a much needed infrastructure need so it was against this backdrop that the National Assembly, the Ninth National Assembly, is committed for the passage of the PIB. And I, we assure Nigerians that this time around, the bill is going to see the light of the day because one is an executive bill. And before the executive brought the bill, there is wide range of consultation among the various stakeholders in industry and we have also subjected it to public hearing and right now we are consulting with various stakeholders uh, we even intend to visit the oil producing communities to hear their own side of the story so that at the end of the day the bill that is going to be passed will not only make often of the oil and gas industry in, in Nigeria for the much needed inflow of foreign investment by way of making it competitive and also bring about a governance structure that is tandem with international best practice and also take the window of opportunities of opportunity that we have for 30 years before the world goes away from fossil fuels to renewables. So I assure you that this time around, the bill is going to see the light of the day. Okay. You've done a great work. And we really appreciate it. You've done, you've done all the job and shutting it down. So what are the expectations of Nigerians from this public training that we just concluded? Well, the expectations of Nigerians is that, one, the bill is going to be a replica of their wishes and aspirations make the oil and gas industry transparent, make it competitive, and also bring about the much needed revenue for the purpose of diversifying our economy away from oil to gas, uh, away from oil and gas to agriculture. And then with regard to the Niger Delta communities, the agitation for control of their resources will also be taken care of through this PIB because some amount of money will be dedicated for the purpose of uh, taking care of the host communities. And that amount of money, I think, is 5% of the operating... Is it 5%? 5% of the operating cost of the oil companies will be directly deployed for the development of 
the host communities and it was going to be managed by them. And there will be a law as to how much they are going to spend on, on investing that money, how much they are going to spend on their recurrent expenditure and how much they are going to spend on the capital expenditure of that, uh, of that community. So it will go a long way in tempering the naps of our, of our brothers and sisters in the Niger Delta areas who are producing the oil because we have come to notice that the 13% derivation, the Niger Delta Development Commission, the amnesty program, and the Ministry of Niger Delta, all all of them were created with a view to alleviating the sufferings of the people in the Niger Delta, take care of their concerns. But we have come to notice that uh, it is not impacting positively on the aspirations of the community the way we want it. That's why there is this provision for host community fund of 5% of the operating cost of these oil companies so that it can be deployed directly to the development of these host communities and they are going to be the ones that are going to manage these funds through their own trustees that that are appointed by them. So during the public hearing, the host community leaders said they will be agitated for the cancellation of Do you support this kind of I support it. I hundred percent support the can the, 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 the abrogation of the Niger Delta Development Commission, co Commission because it is not impacted positively on the, on the lives of the people in the Niger Delta because rather it is becoming a conduit pipe for oiling the political machinery of politicians. So because of that, I think it is better this commission is abrogated and then money spent for the development of the people in the Niger Delta should be deployed directly to them through the host community fund that is, is going to be created by this law so that they will directly administer these funds for their own needs and aspirations.